You ever feel like grabbing a snack even though it's really late at night, but you live in a small town, so after nine o'clock, nothing is open? Well, I used to live in a town like that, but now I live in this little city called Ottawa. You've probably never heard of it, but they do have gas stations open pretty much 24 seven. So I'm gonna go grab some snacks. My car is blocked in, so I have to take my bike. Should have got my gloves. It's kind of cold. Okay. Can't do the track stand for that long. My hands are cold. Chips here are expensive. Walmart is only like another kilometer away and it has much better prices, so I'm just gonna go there. Gotta jump the curb, bunny hop. Oh, yeah, there we go. Five, you get 
eight pastries, which is 300 and I'm gonna get 16. Two for five's not that good, actually. I also kinda want some like Twizzlers and nibs. Where would I find that? I grab some juice. I'm not really picky about my chips, so uh, I'm just gonna go for whatever is the cheapest. Well, I may grab two of these, just because they're cheap right now. 97 cents, decent price. Actually, do I have space for two chips? Without like wrecking it? Yeah, maybe not. I didn't lock my bike, so I hope it's not stolen. That's 921. Let's hope that the bike is still there. Ah, it is. That's good. We like it when the bike doesn't get stolen. Okay. I mean, it's not like I've ever had anything get stolen. I just am you new to living in the city. So back in my hometown, of like 4,000 people, I would leave the bike Anywhere. I got missed the center column. <laughs> it was on the wrong lane. Opposing traffic. That's highly illegal. That's the first time I've done that trip to Walmart on my bike. Maybe I can start going more now that I know it's really not that far.
Let us unload the hull. We got the arrow bar. We got the all dressed, rippled, great value chips. We got the fruité. Or no. Yeah, it is fruité. And the cookies and cream pop tarts. All for $10. I would say that's not a bad haul. I'm gonna to respond to some comments about my most popular video. Wow, a hybrid bike doesn't work like a mountain bike. Shocker! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Well, I don't think you understand that these bikes are not branded as hybrid bikes. They're branded as mountain bikes. Presumably, you would use them as a mountain bike and do trails, but that's really not what they're for. So, I agree if they were labeled as hybrid bikes, then yeah, it would make sense that they're not very good for mountain biking, but that's not really the case. All the advertising, all the graphics, even the name and the label on the bike when you buy it suggests that it's for mountain biking. You don't realize that you are bad mouthing a brand of bicycle and a store that sold it to you because you crashed with your bicycle. You crashed into a tree, so you broke your bicycle. That is on you. When you become a bicycle technician, then you can give an opinion. Well, it's true, I'm not a bicycle technician, so maybe I don't have an opinion. But what I will say is that I bought a thousand dollar mountain bike from a good brand at an actual bike store, and I've crashed it many, many times. More than I can count. And nothing has ever broken once on that. Whereas with this bike from Canadian Tire, which costs almost the same amount, maybe a few hundred dollars less, but still, and it broke on the first try with not even a hard crash. So you try telling me again that it's not the quality of the bike. All right guys, that's it for comments. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.